with the cameras. Uh, really, which he's emailed me for a response. And my summary is this, I'm really disappointed. <laughs> kind of got me into wrestling, uh, kind of just a fan really, I mean I saw it on telly as a, a young age and I was kind of hooked, you know, you kind of get hooked on things and I was instantly hooked, it was something I wanted to do. I liked the way it was done, I liked the, the acting part of it, the promos, the wrestling itself, uh, you know, the bonds you make and stuff like that, and it, it, um, everything about it, just, I, I, it's what I wanted to do. Wrestling was just being a lifelong fan. I mean, I was, as, a, as a kid, I just absolutely loved wrestling. Um, watched it for as far back as I can remember, uh, being a big fan. And I think I, was, I, I really liked it just because when I, when I used to watch it, all the guys on the TV used to look like superheroes. And like, the closest thing you could get to real life superheroes. I think ever since then, I, you know, I, I really always felt like it was something I really wanted to do. Uh, when I first became a wrestler, uh, I didn't really tell many people. I just I went kind of ahead and did it, almost in secret. I did because I didn't know what people's reactions were going to be. And then I think it was I was about sort of two, three years in before I actually started telling people. Like I, you know, I told my family, and my family were really cool. You know, they were really supportive of that as well. And uh, the hardest one I think was telling my wife when I first when, I, when we first met. Uh, I can distinctly remember one night so I was I need to show you something, and I put a videotape in the machine. And I don't know what she was thinking at that point that was going to come up on screen. Um, but then it sort of came up of me doing a wrestling match and she was kind of speechless, so um, I wouldn't say she's a massive fan. Uh, she's not a big fan of wrestling and things like that, but she's, you know, she's really supportive. Um, I kind of, when I started training, I didn't really say anything for a few weeks. Uh, I didn't want to kind of jinx anything or I didn't want to lie. I didn't want to go to people, I'm a wrestler, when actually I'm not at all, I just came to training. Uh, I came to training, I told uh, my girlfriend uh, and a few people and their, their reaction is kind of, Oh, that's, that's a bit different, like, because uh, when you think of wrestling, it's instantly an American thing. People don't think about it in Britain, so. Uh, I'm a primary school teacher, so at the moment I'm, pri I'm an assistant head teacher of a junior school. The Daily Star did an article on me uh, because I just finished 11, you know, just did the 11 years, so he um, put a big article on the Daily Star. Um, and it was really funny because a couple of the kids sort of kept coming up to me going, oh, Mr. Jones, is it, you know, are you a boxer or something? I was like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. And then my head brought me, in, the head teacher brought me into his office and he sort of, I saw the Daily Star sitting on his desk and I was like, right, here we go. And he went, oh, I've just seen this. And I sort of gritted my teeth and he went, this is really good, isn't it? He goes, I didn't know you did this and all that. And he sort of, you know, then he started asking me questions about it. So that was, that was quite cool. But generally, most of the kids don't really know, so as a rule. <laughs> I'd like to get 
big in Britain first. I like to get my name established first. I want people to, to know who I am uh, and then move up. Uh, TNA and WWE has always been the dream. It's a dream for uh, most, most people. Obviously, if you do, the more shows you do, the more money you'll get. The more shows you do in a week. Uh, I just think there's not enough shows in Britain. I think the, the amount of fans in Britain is, is, I think it's quite underrated. And I think more shows are drawing more people. Look, looking at where I am now, I mean, I've been wrestling professionally in Britain for, for about 11 years now. Um, and it's kind of, it's at the point now being that I'm, sort of, I'm 31 years old, which sort of in wrestling terms is sort of getting into your later years. Because, you know, it does take its toll. After 11 years, you know, I sort of, I have very minor sort of you know back problems. My elbows are not as good as they used to be. My knees have taken a lot of punishment over the last couple of years. So it's looking at what what, what really I want to do. I mean, to be fair, um, I don't really want to get to older age and still be wrestling. Oh,